Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the 120 watt portable air compressor wireless handheld car inflatable pump with LED light for quick tire inflation that I got from Timu. There are timestamps or chapters below so you could skip to where you want to. It comes with a barrel jack adapter USB cable for a DC port, different air nozzles, When you attempt to charge or plug in the cable, you can see the green light indicator showing that it has power. This nozzle for balloons, for pool floats, and for sports balls. To turn it on, press the R button. To switch between units, you also press the R button. To set the limit of the air pressure, you could increase or decrease the value by pressing the plus or minus button. To reset the value, press the R button. Pressing the R button again changes the air pressure unit and increase or decrease that unit by pressing the plus or minus button. And reset, pressing R. Pressing R again changes to another unit. Examining the tire chuck seems to be an okay build. There's a tube holder on top. It bends the tube a little. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the charging process. Green light means it has power, but does not mean it has full power. Red light means it's charging. And the cable this long. So I'm going to leave this charge for a couple of hours and see what happens. So it turns green, that means it should be fully charged. Alright, testing this thing out without a nozzle. and with a nozzle. I could really feel the air bouncing back on my hand here. Alright, testing out the tires in real time. You could also see the air pressure that this tire has right now. Setting the limit to 42 PSI. When not pressing a button, you will see the air pressure of the tire again. You could examine the air pressure increases in real time here. In my opinion, the air pressure increases quite fast.
although the exterior of this thing is quite cheaply made, but it does pack a punch. So I decided to stop at 40 PSI. All you have to do is just release, release the trigger. And this time I will set it to 40 PSI, the limit. And let's see what happens. All in real time once again. You can see the battery here just drop by one bar. There you go, it stopped automatically. I guess the battery is still almost full. Just one more tire for demonstration. And there you go. So I just did the last tire. And you can see the battery just went down one bar. Well, it went back up again. Okay, it's still almost full. Sports ball nozzle for this ball. Right now, I am continuing on after the four tires.
And this is how much still the battery that it has left. Impressive. Well, that's all I have. Thank you for watching. Do come back for the next video.